GTA 6 should look something like this, and I'm not just talking about the gameplay. I'm also going to be talking about loading into the world, what the menus are going to look like. We're going to be diving into everything in this video today. So in previous videos, I've shown you guys kind of what the HUD of Grand Theft Auto 6 is going to look like at least based on what we know so far, given the Grand Theft Auto 6 leaks that were revealed back in September. But let's talk about what it's gonna be like to actually load this game up and start playing. Well, I think it's fairly obvious that this game is only gonna be available on the newer generation consoles, PS5 and Xbox Series X and S, probably the pro or slim versions of each one. So this is probably what it's going to look like on the PlayStation 5, if you guys are familiar with that system. It's gonna be one of those boxes in the top corner that you have next to the rest of your games, whether it be Red Dead Redemption to The Last of Us, Fortnite, whatever the case might be, that's primarily what it's going to look like. And then it's going to have some sort of Grand Theft Auto 6 artwork in the background, just like it does for all the other games, incorporating some sort of artwork or styling uh, into the main menu. Now, once you do that, this is primarily what it's going to look like when you load it up for the very first time. The logo is going to appear with some sort of background, and then it's going to say continue or load in probably giving you something along the lines of this, being able to jump from story mode to online. This one says, Grand Theft Auto 6 story mode, follow Jason and Lucia's story in the Sunshine State's most vibrant metropolis, Vice City. Play Grand Theft Auto 6's story mode, and then you have settings, start story, and even an online mode as well. Now, there's a good chance that Grand Theft Auto Online 2.0 or GTA 6's multiplayer is not necessarily going to be available on day one. So if that's the case, it'll probably look something like this coming soon. Do not miss the grand opening of Grand Theft Auto 6 online in the coming months. So I know with Grand Theft Auto 5, it came out just a couple of weeks after release. Red Dead Redemption 2, it might have been a little bit longer than that. But for the most part, there's going to be a slight delay between Grand Theft Auto 6's story mode and then Grand Theft Auto 6's multiplayer. Now, when you're eventually able to dive into this whole thing, it'll probably look something like this. Play Grand Theft Auto Online, enter the world of Grand Theft Auto 6 Online, and start building your own criminal empire in the city of Vice. Explore Vice City and Grand Theft Auto Online alongside your partners in crime. So again, probably going to look something like that. And hopefully it doesn't look something like this, where if you need to enter Grand Theft Auto Online, it requires a GTA Plus subscription, with it saying currently GTA Online is available only for GTA Plus members and will be opened on January 1st, 2025 for everyone. That would be pretty unfortunate if Rockstar decided to pay lock Grand Theft Auto Online behind something like GTA Plus. I doubt it would ever come to something like that, but you never know. Now, once you get into online, probably going to look something like this, where you have a similar menu setup to what is currently in Grand Theft Auto 5's multiplayer, diving in, game modes, what's new, manage characters, and then unfortunately, but probably going to be a, a staple of the game, GTA Plus benefits as well. Because it looks like GTA Plus is here to stay, let's just hope it remains something like this and not kind of like that, where it doesn't allow you to dive into the game whatsoever unless you have the subscription service. So fingers crossed that Rockstar doesn't go that far. Now, once you load up the game and you hit the start menu, it's probably gonna look something similar to this where you have access to the map, your game, online, friends, setting, gallery, and then probably like a Rockstar editor or something like that. And the map, of course, will be fully revealed probably in online where in single player, you'll have to explore all the areas for them to be fully revealed, but that's kind of what it looks like right there, as well as a markings page on the side that's gonna outline all your important areas like the airport or a tattoo shop, barber shop, strip club, of course, gun shop, apartment, etc. So that's what your map is ultimately going to look like. And we know since the game is gonna be taking place in modern day Vice City, we're going to have access to a cell phone and that's going to introduce some brand new apps, including Snapmatic, which we know 
for taking pictures. Life Invader, which is where we typically get deals and whatnot for various online brands. You have Zit, which is a music player similar to Spotify, and a brand new app called What's Up, which is a parody of WhatsApp. That's going to be like our messaging and communicating service for, I would imagine, single player and multiplayer too. Now, moving on, we all know that things can go wrong in Grand Theft Auto 6. If you get wasted, it's probably going to look something along the lines of this. We've all seen those famous letters. And if you get busted, which can happen at a lower wanted star level, it's probably going to look something along the lines of this. However, if you are able to complete a mission, it's probably going to look like this. And of course, if you're unable to pass the mission, it's probably going to look something like this, telling you why the mission failed. In this case, Jason ended up dying, giving us a chance to restart from the checkpoint and giving us some friendly advice, like try driving around the streets. And last but not least, we've talked about this in previous videos, but I just want to very quickly show you guys what the HUD is supposed to look like based on various videos that were shown off in the leaks. And they showcase kind of what the minimap is supposed to look like, the notifications that will show up on screen, as well as the stats that are going to be displayed, as well as things like your inventory, weapons, equipment, and gear, your traditional Grand Theft Auto text styling in the bottom right-hand corner, outlining car name, class, street name, area, and probably the ability to transfer characters between Jason, Lucia, and our multiplayer character. We've talked about the new phone that's going to be there, a new radio station system, as well as a interaction purchase menu that you'll see, as well as an inventory loot bag that we know is gonna be shared between our characters, a Red Dead Redemption 2 style system of aiming, robbing, greeting, and antagonizing people. And of course, all of this is subject to change because everything we've seen so far has come from the leaked footage. And we know that Rockstar has even said that that is early development, pre-alpha footage. So there is a chance everything will look a little bit different. But at the end of the day, I really do believe this is what Grand Theft Auto 6 is going to look like and going to be like in terms of the system it's on, the start menu, the user interface. If you guys would like to take a look at all of these concepts for yourself, I'll leave a link to a Google Drive page in the description. This has been shared in a Grand Theft Auto 6 Discord and created by a couple of users on there, I think primarily MNM. 345x so again check out that in the description if you guys are interested but let me know what you think in those comments down below do you think grand theft auto 6 is going to look like this or do you think it's going to look entirely different altogether i'd love to hear from you guys in those comments down below so let me know what you're thinking down there if you guys did go and enjoy this video though a like rating would of course be awesome and be sure to subscribe to my youtube channel if you are new you want to stay up to date on all that is gta and all the Rockstar Games videos that I'll be doing here on my channel. And be sure to ring that notification bell as well. Sometimes YouTube just doesn't work, and if you ring that bell, you'll always be guaranteed to be notified when new videos arrive. But of course, as always, guys, thank you all so much for watching. Take care, and I'll see you guys in the next video.